Hey guys, I'm Roland, Tech Fusist, and I have literally just received Android 8.0 Oreo on my LG Watch Style about 10 15 minutes ago. So, I just wanted to make a quick video showcasing all of the latest features that you can expect to receive on your LG Watch Star. Let's take a look. So, first, let's take a look at all of the notifications. But I didn't find any changes, so I think it all stayed the same. So, if we go into the settings, uh, the main menu, we can see that the settings has, uh, the icon has definitely changed. I don't see any other changes, however. So, if we go into the settings, display, we now have adjust brightness font size always on screen and the touch lock feature which might be useful for some uh, not for me so let's just go back we can adjust the brightness I'm not sure if, if we had this before but now we do so easily you can just change the brightness you can also change the font size pick from three different options small normal and large Apps and notifications. Um, again, I'm not sure if we had this. I don't remember. I've I've never really used this. You can change the vibration pattern from normal, long, or double. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you can pick that up from the camera. Mm -hmm. I've set it to long. You can have do not disturb on. And set it when you want to be reminded for different uh, events. So that's good. Notification previews. Show for 5 seconds. You can turn it off or you can set it to always show. Um, app permissions. So when you click on, let's say, Akubada, you have, you can give the application permission to see a location and uh, other data. Up notifications, show all or show disabled. I'm not gonna get into that. App info. So if you click on an application, we can see if we want to uninstall it, force stop it, see the permissions it takes, and we grant the application, or we just see the app information. So we can see the version number, the storage it takes up on the device, the data, the cache, and uh, we can also clear the data and clear the cache, which is pretty useful. Um, that's it from there. Gestures, I didn't see any changes there. So, I don't think there are any. Connectivity, I think they all stay the same. Location from the device, airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. You might have GPS. Uh, if you have a different particular device I don't so accessibility yep that stay the same personalization um, input methods I believe that's the same uh, you can change the keyboard head other keyboards accounts smart reply okay Google detection and I just triggered my phone um, device administrator um, yeah there's not much and screen lock so you can set a pattern a pin password or none I don't have anything I have my phone with me at all times so it's not necessary uh, storage you can see what takes up and how much storage a particular application takes up on your device so I'm not again I'm not sure if we had this before uh, now we do so it's pretty useful in my opinion so we can see how much data we need to install something from the Play Store or anywhere else uh, system battery saver date time restart that all stay the same about so you can see it's an LG watch style the device name, 
uh, serial number, build number, the version 2.8, Google Play services, Android OS 8.0.0. Uh, so as we can see, it's this security patch level is December 1, 2017. I would have loved January or February, but it's LG. So it's decent for what it is. And I don't really see anything else. We can check the Play Store and see if there are any changes. If it loads, I'm not sure how good my internet connection is right here. I don't really see a change. It looks like it looks the same. That's the same. Click on my apps. Um, that all seems to be the same. How about if you click on? Yep, that. That's my name. Did that change? Um, can we zoom in? No, we can't. So yeah, I don't really see a different change. The home screen, that seems to be the same. Yeah, that's it guys. So that's it guys, that's all I can tell you about the Android 8.0 Oreo on the LG watch style for now. Um, I will definitely be making a review of the LG watch style as I've been using it since probably September last year. So it's long overdue, I know. Um, I will be making one and tell you if it's a good smartwatch. For now I can tell you that it's decent for what it is. But if you actually have it on a sale for let's say, I'm not sure. Maybe not on a sale, but as a second-handed device, if you can get it for like 50, 80 pounds, I would say go for it. It's a pretty decent watch, but the battery is 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 terrible. Like I go to university, come back home, roughly eight hours, and it's drained. Like I'll probably come back home, get back home with like 10 between 10 and 30 percent battery left, and it is definitely not a two day device so you have to charge it every single night every single time you get back home now all that said I'll be making a review very soon and let you know my thoughts about this little smartwatch so thank you for watching I'll see you next time